joining us now is MRS meeting chair Isabella Schlufarska. Isabella, thank you so much for being here. My pleasure. We appreciate it. Okay, the, uh, the spring meeting here is winding down in Phoenix. Um, it's been in Phoenix. This is the first time in our Correct. Correct. A lot went into that, I imagine. Yes. And uh, being a chair, there, there's a lot that, that's happened. Can you just talk about talk about the process and what's gone on? Sure. Yeah. So I think there was a, a actually a great challenge and also opportunities to move to Phoenix from San Francisco. Yep. A lot of people like San Francisco. Uh, so um, we, uh, as a chairs, reached out to uh, our colleagues in the community and encouraged them to submit uh, symposium proposals. So we had to advertise the meeting. And uh, we received a very large number of very high quality uh, proposals, symposium proposals. Uh, we chose um, uh, 63 of them. And this is, I believe, the largest number of symposia in the history of MRS. Wow. Uh, so it's a very large meeting. Yeah. And uh, to help with this uh, growing number of topics, we also introduced some changes. So for instance, we um, changed the uh, labeling or naming of the symposia from alphab alphabetical order, which has been done typically in the past, mm -hmm. uh, to naming them by acronyms from the uh, thematic clusters to which the symposium belongs. So I think it's a great way to help people identify uh, scientific themes uh, within the uh, uh, scientific program of the conference. And so uh, the turnout is great. We have uh, almost 4,000 people pre-registered for the meeting. I don't know the final numbers for the registration, but we're very happy with the turnout. Yeah, it's been very busy here. It's been uh, very busy, this yes. Week, this week. And uh, one more thing, actually, with the new venue, which uh, here in Exhibit Hall, which has been exciting, we're able to move the uh, Symposia X talks to the Exhibit Hall, which is also different. Mm -hmm. And I think that uh, creating more inviting uh, atmosphere and also um, provided a more integration, tighter integration of the exhibitors with the rest of the symposium program. So there's lots of great opportunities with this new venue. Uh, th that was a big highlight, that, that, that move and that setup. What would have been some other big highlights here this week? Well, uh, for me, I think the most exciting part of this uh, meeting was the wide range of uh, topics uh, that has been covered at the conference, and that including uh, that included the Symposium X talks we just mentioned, plenary, so that ranged from biomaterials, competition materials design. We had a talk on uh, material science of pipe organs, which was very interesting as well. Yes, we had a great <laughs> interview with that. Yes, and uh, also the uh, imaging, uh, time result imaging of materials. And not only that, but the, wide, uh, the not large number of symposiums that I mentioned also created, uh, covered a broad, impressive breadth of materials research. And I think it reflects the interdisciplinary nature of the field. And mm -hmm. I think for me, that was the, one of the most exciting things, the breadth of research that's covered here. Um, boy, this has been such an, an undertaking to be a chair of, of a meeting such as this. Uh, significant amount of time, I would imagine, personal and professional, to organize this. How have you managed that? Uh, well, uh, one has to yeah. <laughs> be organized about this. Uh, and it does take time, but I would say it has been a very rewarding experience. And um, uh, and I believe it's actually important for the community, for us as scientists to step up to these roles, uh, because for me, it was an opportunity to actually give back uh, to the society. Mm -hmm. I have benefited over the years uh, tremendously from participating in MRS meetings. So I believe it was a time for me to, uh, to, to give back. Great, great. And what are some tips for for those that will come after you considering being a meeting chair? Uh, I would say, I would have a few words maybe to people who are considering being chairs, although it takes uh, a lot of time and it might be sort of overwhelming to think about this, uh, the MRS staff has been uh, extremely helpful. So the meeting is actually organized by MRS staff. The meeting chairs, they uh, provide a technical, they developed a technical program. So mm -hmm. it's, a, it's been a great experience and I would encourage people to do that because it provides a higher level view of the trends in materials research. And for me personally, it also was a great uh, opportunity to meet colleagues who don't necessarily work in my area of material science. Yes. So I think it's uh, it takes time, but I would encourage people to step up and do it. It's a great experience. You know, yeah, it has been so impressive the work that you have done leading up to this meeting and being here. People are going to realize this. You uh, just gave birth to twins. They're eight weeks old. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> How have you found time and how are you doing and how are the babies? You know, I'm getting a lot of help and I would also want to uh, actually thank MRS uh, that uh, it would not be possible for me to continue as chair if it wasn't for the support from MRS staff and also MRS has grants for uh, childcare. Uh, that I applied for and I would encourage people who are in this position to apply as well and I think it's really important to uh, have a balance of work and, uh, and family life and it was possible because of the MRS so um, 
So organization and support. <laughs> that, that is very nicely said. And you look wide awake. I can't believe it. <laughs> thank you. It's a coffee. <laughs> Isabella, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. <laughs>